Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everyone's well. Aries. We're throwing them down for you today for November round two. Okay. So, Aries, if it resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising and Venus sign placements. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. This really isn't a cross watchers read though. This is gonna go more into Aries strengths and weaknesses in a situation, what's coming in, what's leaving, what they gotta do to achieve the desired outcome, all that happy jazz. But if a cross watcher can take something out of it, I guess that's okay. Everybody's always welcome at my table anyway. If you're new here, I think we might vibe and get along and stuff, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Any returning visitors, welcome back. I missed you. Thanks for coming back by. It gets pretty lonely being the crazy tarot lady. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it. It's a contented existence. Anywho, anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel grow. It helps the videos be circulated to those who may need the messages and it is all very much appreciated. Okay, Aries, a couple more quick things before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And two, if it's not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It may not have been meant for you. Okay. We're going to tip down and get started. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November round two. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Okay, Aries. Mmm. Five of Swords. Oof. That's a bit of a squabble. But you stood up and did what was best for you. Somebody wasn't too thrilled about it, though. Hmm. All right, well... What's the strength in the situation? Wheel of Fortune. What's the weakness? Hanged man reversed. Mm. What do you want? Knight of Swords. What's gotta go? Ace of Wands. What's coming in? Page of Pentacles reversed. What do you gotta do? Ten of Swords reversed. This card keeps coming up for you guys. What's the outcome? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh boy. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Five of Wands. More conflict. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get a little clarity for Aries. Let's not bring this energy into the holidays, guys, okay? Let's not. Let's not. Oh. So I had to pop out. Full reversed. Some of you may not trust the other person involved in the situation. Huh. Okay. Talk to me about this Wheel of Fortune for Aries Strengths. You blessed, I give you that. You blessed. Hmm. 
Nine Pentacles reversed. Ah. Ah. lovers no more on that nine of pentacles There's a stall. Aries. It's a powerful connection. I'm not seeing how this is a strength though. Not seeing how this is a strength. You charge forward anyway. You're blessed on the path. Even with all the stop and go. Even when you feel like you have your moments when you can't. You're on the path you're supposed to be on. But sometimes you have to make choices. What's the lover's card? And sometimes those choices piss people off. I don't think you care, though. I think you're full steam ahead. No matter the interruption in the path. And you don't care who upsets. Okay. The weakness being the hangman reversed. What's the hangman reversed? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Stalls, delays, hang-ups, lack of communication, Ten of Cups, Reverse, Two of Wands. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Your strength is your weakness. You trudge forth with or without someone. Hmm. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for what Ares wants? Thank you. Strength reversed. Honest communication, not holding back. Ace of Wands reversed. Even if it hurts, Three of Swords.
Four of Wands. Four of Wands is reversed. Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Aries. You want an end of the heartbreak. You want communication. This is so weird. I feel like some of you, no matter what you want the truth in a situation, no matter what the outcome, you just want the truth. You want a new start. You want to know if you need to hold on or let go. Why is the Ace of Wands here for what's got to go? Why is the Ace of Wands here for what's got to go? Sun reversed. Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles. A seed that never grew. Someone you miss. Something that keeps you restless. A connection that wasn't equal or reciprocal. Could be. It was like a spark. It was like a match. The striking match. The Seven of Cups, some of you may have several striking matches. Or you had... Some of you may have been exploring options. It's something that didn't take off, though. But it's something that still has you restless. It's something that you miss. It has to go. It has to go. It has to go. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for what's coming in? Why the Page of Pentacles reversed? Emperor. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's your card. One more. Whoa. Karma. Judgment. Hmm. Stagnancy in a situation. Could be lack of an apology. Taking a final judgment call. Standing up. Taking control back. Oh boy, I don't like this guy. King of Swords reversed. Someone showing a great deal of emotion. Someone who may, may not be making such a logical decision. One more. Eight of Pentacles work, working on a situation, possibly in terms of trying to resurrect a situation, something that's been stagnant. Rising up, doing what's best for you, not caring who it upsets. Emperor taking control back. I feel like things have been a little bit out of control. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here for what Aries has to do? Why the Ten of Swords reversed? I feel like some of you have been avoiding a painful ending. Six of Pentacles reversed. Avoiding the painful ending of something that isn't equal, isn't fair, isn't reciprocated. Has not brought a lot of victory. 
possibly something that isn't giving you attention or you're not giving attention to, haven't been giving attention to. Ten of Pentacles, but it was for your benefit. Ultimately, you need to do what's going to be best for you. If you've been avoiding the ending of something, you just need to end it. One more. Empress reversed because it's not going to grow. You need to decide what is and is not worth feeding. You need to decide what is and is not worth your attention. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? Why the Knight of Pentacles reversed for the outcome? Three of Wands reversed. The Star and the King of Pentacles. I love this. I love this. No longer waiting for something to fruit, no longer waiting for something to prosper. Walking away from the dock, allowing yourself to heal and allowing abundance to come in. I love this for you. Five of Swords reversed. I'm not feeling that like a defeat, I'm feeling that like an end to conflict. nice. All right. Okay. Mm. Let's get an oracle message for you, Aries. Deep knowing. Well, okay. That just kind of flew out. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with Source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys to access their inner guidance. Know that you are, or sorry, know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of the human experience. You're given information that many... Sorry. <laughs> You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune into your, so tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Huh. That was for somebody apparently. Okay, Aries. I love you guys. Have one hell of a rest of your November, and I will catch you guys in your next read.